I like to begin by well, throwing the sail out in a place that's hopefully not windy and opening up the mast pad fully to expose the tack roller. Mast going in, notice the mast is on top of the back ends. The mast does not catch the cams when beginning the rigging sequence. Sliding the mast in on top of all the battens and take care that the mast stays together. It can be that when you put the mast in, the mast comes apart slightly. Don't want that to happen. Mast fully in. It's not a bad idea to check to see that the mast is in place at the top, which it is. So the 7.0 rigs on a 430. You can rig either SDM or RDM. The racing blade is um, factory equipped with the TechCam 2 SDMs in place and the RDMs are in the sail bag. So if you rig with RDMs, take the cams out, the SDMs, and put in the RDMs. I've got my mast extension set at 40 as recommended on the sail and the sail bag and the website. We put on enough tension to get the cams in place. So at the moment the mast is on top of all the battens. And I'll pull the downhaul just enough so that the mast just disappears from the X-ply. In other words, I pulled the downhaul enough so that the mast is just here, just where the X-ply and the woven material are. And at that amount of downhaul tension, it's not too difficult to snap the cams in place. With the cams in place, it's time to mount the boom. Now that I have the boom on, cams in place, I'll put on my harness to apply full downhaul tension. It's the nature of the competitive slalom racing sails that the amount of downhaul tension is greater than other designs. So I like to wear the harness and use my legs to apply the tension. Okay, we're all the way down. Full tension applied, outhaul. Upper eyelet for average conditions, medium winds, lighter winds, lower eyelet, for the upper end. The reason is that the lower eyelet reduces the power zone and increases the release zone, making the sail faster, easier in the upper end. Conversely, for the lower end, the upper eyelet, increasing the power zone and reducing the twist zone, the release zone. So there we are rigged. For lighter winds, I definitely ease the outhaul off a bit. That gives more profile to the sail. Also, can soften the downhaul setting. 